The brain is a very complicated computational system. When we don't exactly know what the goal of the brain is, we have some ideas. But in order to probe the system, you have to get into it and try to see how the different components collaborate with each other. So you can imagine you would like to get the conversation or just the uh, individual utterances for, uh, for every single individual in a uh, cocktail party or in a stadium and uh, you don't exactly know how to do it. It's easy to go and have one microphone just like the way I am equipped now that it's concentrating on me. But if you do that, you do it at the expense of listening to others. It, the, you would like to get the conversation or you would like to get the utterances from every single individual, every single neuron, then you have to have many, many microphones. And this is exactly what this enterprise, the Neuron Nexus, is about. I think a, a, a company is good if it's driven by the users. And I think that's what I can say about uh, Neuron Nexus, that our input mattered and input of other users mattered, mattered. And this is why on the first page you will see names of people who contributed to the design. I like the flexibility. If I have a design, I send it off and uh, I get it back very quickly. And uh, maybe I'm in a privileged situation, I don't know, but the charges are quite acceptable or sometimes nothing. So that flexibility is uh, something that is not available for many other systems. As long as there are outside sponsors such as NIH, Wellcome Trust and so on, this is a viable process. But small laboratories don't have that money. You, 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 know, you cannot have your own favorite electro design. Whereas with Euronexus, you can have almost any configuration that you can imagine and it will be delivered to you relatively quickly.